Hey what's up guys, so it's no secret that Samsung is now moving ahead and merging their Tizen OS with Google's Wear OS and in Galaxy Watch 4 and Watch 4 Active, the upcoming Galaxy Watches from Samsung will have Google Assistant and I'm not sure of the fate of Bixby but we might have that as well since that version of Wear OS will be heavily modified by Samsung and will be made to look like One UI. So we will get Google Assistant on that and its full functionality. I really do hope that we do get that. But anyways, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and use Google Assistant on these Galaxy watches. It's fairly easy to do and uh, there are some restrictions and everything doesn't work, you know, as intended. But a lot of features work and you won't be missing a lot of things. So let's get right into it and download this app from the Galaxy Store. So this app is called G Voice Assistant. So we need to look this app up in the Galaxy Store first and here you go. It's in the featured category number two. So you can go in here and from here you can easily install it on your watch. Once you have done that, you will have the app here. Now open it up and then it will ask you to log in with your uh, Google account that you use for your Google Assistant. So we will log in and it opens up the full login page from Google actually so you will just see it right here so it's telling you to rotate the bezel to scale the view and switch set of characters for username and password when it comes to the keyboard so there you go full Google login page is available to us so we can scale it using the bezel and then tap in here put in your details your email address your password it's the you know usual way you sign into any google account so i'll do that and i'll come back so once you've put in all of your details just tap sign in and it will do the two-step verification thing so we'll go through that on our phones and now we have activated google assistant on our watch and we've got this dashboard here so we will first go in settings and take a look at some settings here so we have got some commands list here which is a pro feature you'll have to buy the full version you can log out send diagnostics rate the app going about but we'll go in settings first and in settings you can set the language you can set the simplified mode you can mute it you can uh, set a vibration notification audio notification always on display use bezel for volume okay google experimental feature we'll have auto start on start on wrist up gesture on resume run in background yes now keep in mind that some of these features if you turn them on will affect your battery life and will actually you know run your battery down very quickly so auto unlock no mic boost yep and then connection timeout and settings we have got all these features so you can turn these features on and off um, according to your liking so once we are back now now we can simply tap on this and you know do what we do with Google Assistant. What's the weather like in London? Right now in London it's 21 degrees and sunny. Today it'll be sunny with a forecast high of 24 and a low of 13. Okay, so it's not showing the graphics, but it um, actually does show the graphics here, uh, the weather graphics. Oh, there you go. They have loaded up now and you can swipe and see the details as well. So it's very much like the Google Assistant dashboard that you see on your phones, ported onto your watch, which I think is really nice and works, you know, very well. Now you can also do stuff like set up reminders and timers, but not everything works until you buy the full pro version. So let's try reminders. Remind me to take medicine in two hours. Sure. To help you create reminders, I need your permission to allow personal results on this device. You can change this in Assistant Settings. So this is something that you can do on your phone by going into Google Assistant Settings. So let's try that out. So here on the Google Assistant app on your phone, you can... Um, let's go back and show you where you will find this. So you'll have to go in Devices. And here go in the watch so it shows up like this watch x43 and then from here you can turn on the personal results feature and then that's it let's try again now remind me to take medicine in two hours
Sure. I'll remind you on the 1st of June 2021 at 12.30 p.m. Now it does not let you control any watch functions. With this version you'll have to buy pro versions if you want to make a phone call or you want to control any of the other watch functions. And because Samsung has removed paid apps from my country, I cannot buy the pro version. But if you are in a country where you know paid apps are still available on Galaxy Store, you can go ahead and buy that version and control all these features. In fact, you can go in here and tap on this button and it will show you what Pro Google Assistant Pro will let you do. So you can uh, you know, use commands like make a phone call, set an alarm, launch an app and more. So this kind of stuff you will get in the Pro version. So anyways, with the basic version, even you have Google Assistant on your watch now. Any questions you want to ask, it will do that. It will even sing for you. So let's try that. Sing for me. Tell me a joke. How do you make a squid laugh with 10 tickles? And with this Google Assistant version, you can also try the conversation mode. So that's pretty cool as well. Let's try it out. What's the weather like in London? Right now in London, it's 21 degrees. What about tomorrow? It'll be partly cloudy then. What about next week? From Sunday to next Friday in London. So there you go, it understands the context and you can do the conversation mode with it as well. And there's also a way to quickly launch Google Assistant without going into apps and then launching the app and doing your thing. And for that, we actually need to first go in settings and here we need to go in advanced, home key and then double press. And here if you scroll down, you will see Google Assistant or G Voice Assistant here. So now when you will double press the home key, it will launch the Google Assistant app directly. It should actually do that. So there you go. What's the weather right now? Right now in London it's 23 degrees and sunny. That's how you can quickly launch Google Assistant straight from your watch face. You won't have to go into apps and then look for it and then launch the app. Simply double press the home key and it will launch Google Assistant. So there you go, that's pretty cool. You have quite a lot of features of Google Assistant available on your watch even with the basic version. Anyways, that's about it from this video guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something new here. Now I wanna know from you guys what other apps and features you use on your Galaxy watches. I'm really eager to know, let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care, bye-bye.